Hello and welcome to the YouTube channel Elements of Three. I'm Chef Simon Braz and today I'm going to teach you how to cook something really special. We're going to do today a pan fried salmon fillet with a baba ganoush, pickled vegetables, with coriander and rice. Now I'm using basmati rice, I've got it cooking on my rice cooker already, but this is going to be something really, really delicious. If you like this video, please hit that subscribe button, I'm posting videos every week. Please give a like, comment, I try and comment back as quickly as possible. And also, if you like this video, please subscribe so you can get notified when the next one's coming up. So, let's get started. So as you can see, first thing I'm gonna get done is I've got uh, a pickling liquor. So in here, I've basically got 100 mils of rice wine vinegar and 100 mils of water. And to that, I'm gonna add 100 grams of sugar. Now, a basic pickling liquor just consists of those three ingredients, vinegar, water, and sugar. Now, obviously, you're welcome to use uh, white wine instead of uh, water, which gives a lot more flavor. And you can use any other vinegars you want. You can use red wine, you can use cider vinegar, you can use Cabernet Sauvignon, anything you want. Obviously, try and match the other liquids with it. So if you're using a cider vinegar, maybe use a cider or an apple juice to give it a real lovely flavor. But today, we're just using white wine vinegar, or rice wine vinegar, sorry water and sugar okay now we've got a few ingredients uh, we've got the aubergine obviously for our baba ganoush a selection of spices uh, lemon and coriander we got uh, pomegranate which i'll show you how to take the seeds out shortly we've got fresh shiitake mushrooms that i've just taken the stem out of radishes and finally uh, a muli and of course don't forget the prize ingredient the salmon Okay, so the first thing we want to do, apart from getting that on, is basically we want to, we want to blacken these, okay? And the way we do that is we get the stove on, get the fire on, and basically you're just going to take these, I haven't done anything to them, I'm just going to pop them straight onto the fire, okay? And what we're going to do is we're going to burn them and blister them. Ideally, in the best case scenario, you do this on the barbecue, hot coals, put it in there, stunning. But we haven't got that, we're going to use this, basically I'm just going to blister them and cook them really well. And then in a minute, I'm going to wrap them in clean film, and just like when you're roasting peppers, and you put them in a bowl with cling film, it helps take that skin off really easily. So, we've got the aubergines on, and we've got the pickling liquor made. So what we're gonna do, is we're gonna prep our vegetables. Okay, so I'm just gonna take uh, about a four inch piece of muli, okay, or a Japanese horseradish. Just gonna take that and peel it. We're just gonna slice these into discs. Now ideally, what you want to do is cook these and pickle these 24 hours before. Give a real lovely flavor. I'm just gonna slice thinly. If you've got a mandolin, use a mandolin instead. But I'm just using my knife. Lovely. And that's just gonna go into the bowl. Okay, like so, all right? Put them aside. Radishes, I'm going to take these, this one's quite big, so I'm going to cut this into eight. So get nice wedges, like so. So if they're a bit smaller, you can get away and cut them into six. Okay. Now you can use these for other things, these are great. If there are some left, use it in a beautiful salad with fresh salad leaves like watercress or rocket all of that's going to be absolutely delicious the last one here let's cut that into eight finally And there we are, just gonna pop that into the bowl. And they're ready to go. Shiitake mushrooms, if they're small like that, I'm gonna leave them whole. If they're slightly bigger, I'll just cut them into half or uh, into, into four, depending on the size. Now, I'm not gonna cook these, I'm gonna, uh, these are gonna be raw. And they're gonna soak in that lovely pickling juice, which is going to be delicious. Now I haven't thrown away the stalks either, I'm gonna keep them if I'm making a ramen stock or just a simple mushroom stock, I'll save them. Really important to do that. There we are. 
shiitake mushrooms in the bowl. Now we're just basically going to bring this liquid to a, to a boil and that's it. As soon as the sugar is dissolved and the water comes to the boil, it's ready. We don't need to do anything else to that now. Now the pomegranate. All I've done with my pomegranate, fresh pomegranate, just cut it in half and with a spoon I'm just basically going to hit it and I'm going to push all of those pomegranate seeds out. Really, really simple. And you'll be surprised how much you get in half a pomegranate. Now if you get any, any of the bits of pith or the little membrane, you just want to discard them, you don't really want to eat them. There we are. Those little bits. You see there, that's just like a half a pomegranate all of those pomegranate seeds. All right, aubergine starting to soften up now. You see they're starting to blister. It's just what you want. You're going to flip them over, use your tongs, like so. Okay. So our pickling liquid is ready now. So all we're going to do is basically We'll take this off the heat and we're going to divide it between all three of the vegetables. Now don't worry if they're not all completely submerged, they'll soon, uh, soon go down. Okay, Mushrooms always float so don't worry about that. And there we have, so that's the pickled mouli, pickled radish and the mushrooms. So, aubergines going really well. Next thing I'm going to do, I'm going to season my salmon. Okay, I'm just using a lovely bit of salt and pepper. And this is about 150 to 180 gram portion of salmon, which I think is ample for, uh, for a main course. So we'll see if you want it a bit bigger, get it bigger, if you want it smaller, perfect. Okay, salt and pepper. Now these I've ordered them descaled and pin bone, really important. Nothing worse than eating fish that's not been scaled properly. It's not pleasant at all. And we're going to need a saucepan in a minute, okay? And what we're going to do is to that saucepan, we're going to add some garlic and some spices. Now the spices I'm using, I've got half a teaspoon of cumin, ground cumin, half a teaspoon of uh, smoked paprika, the same again, half a teaspoon of ground coriander and half a teaspoon of cayenne pepper. Uh, two cloves of garlic that I've just uh, slightly chopped and I'm going to add that to a saucepan. That's really important, we just get these flavours just toasted off really, really nicely. And this is just going to give a nice flavour to that uh, baba ganoush that we're going to make sure that you want to bring those flavours out, especially when you're using dry spices, really important. Okay, I've got a lemon as well I'm going to use. Fresh coriander, okay? Now as I said in previous videos, I like to use the stalks. I think it's really, really important because the stalks give so much flavor, okay? I'm gonna toast them off. I haven't put any oil in there. Just gonna flip our aubergines over. You see they're getting really soft now. It's just what you want. Okay, coriander now, I'm just going to chop. I like it with a, a little bit of texture to it, I don't need to have it too fine. Like I said, I like to use the stalks. The stalks have a lot more flavour than, uh, than the, the, the flesh, the, the flesh, the, the leaves have a lot more flavour. Pop that in there ready for when we're going to dish it later. Right, spices are just toasted now, just getting the flavours and the aromas through. I'm going to put that to one side now. Right. Now the aubergine, here's the next really important bit. 
I'm going to take a roll of clean film. If I can ever open it. Like so. Now, if you don't have gas in your home and you've got halogen or you've got electric or induction, what you want to do then is basically you want to peel the aubergine, put it into a nice hot saucepan with a bit of oil, and you want to cook them down so it's really, really soft. Okay? So now, what I'm going to do, so I'm going to take these aubergines, I'm going to wrap them in the cling film. And what this will do, will just keep the aubergine in their own juices and it will steam really, really nicely. And that's going to finish the majority of the cooking process of this uh, puree. So just going to leave them to stand for about five to ten minutes, no more. Right, moving on to the salmon. So I've got a nice uh, non-stick frying pan here. I'm going to put that onto a medium heat with a bit of uh, uh, oil. Okay. Get that nice and hot. Just going to make sure I turn, get all the oil coating nicely. Now, when I cook salmon, I like to cook it 80 to 90 percent of the way on one side. This way, you get a really, really crispy skin, but you're retaining all that lovely moisture. And then, for the last sort of few minutes, I turn it over, and it's beautiful. Okay, so fish is about ready to go in now. Okay, salmon's in the pan. With my fingers, I'm just going to press down on it ever so slightly. And the reason for doing that is like any muscle, when it gets to a high heat, it will start to constrict. And this way, if you just press it down, it stops that. And what it allows is you get a nice, even distribution of heat all over the skin. And also, it will stay nice and flat, nice and crispy. It doesn't take long. You'll feel it give resistance against your fingers. And as soon as you press down, it will just give and it will flatten out nicely. I'm just going to put it on a sort of a medium heat, okay? Okay, so we're now about ready to uh, deal with the aubergines. So you'll see now, they've gotten really soft, very squidgy. Okay, and what we're going to do, we're going to cut the end off. I'm going to open the cling film. Take that cling film away. you see that it will just gently peel off. Okay, and use a spoon. Now it doesn't matter if you get a few of these little bits of the skin on it, that's fine. It's just gonna give a little bit more flavor anyway. And again, it's almost like a nice smoky finish. There we go. Aubergine, soft, cooked. All of this you can discard. Do the same again with the other one. Cut the top off. Get the cling film off. There it comes. There we have two aubergines. The charred skin off. And with that, I'm just going to run my knife through it. Just chop it up ever so slightly, like so. It's just going to make it easier for the next part. Okay, so next, the pan with the spices, we're going to put that on. Okay, and to that, we're going to add the aubergine. Okay, there it goes. Beautiful. Put 
thing. So we've got that on a high heat. So we start to remove any excess moisture from the aubergine. Really, really important. You know that salmon's got lovely, a real lovely crispy skin forming now. Both sides, really nice, beautiful. Now to this, I'm gonna add a little bit of uh, olive oil. going to help cook out those flavours a lot more so you get a nice beautiful glossy flavour. So we're not far from plating up. Now I've got a couple of mushrooms that I prepared the other day. Now these have been marinating and softening for about 24 hours. Okay and you'll see how much They've changed already, they've got a lot softer. These are the ones I did at the beginning of the video. So they sort of shrunk down a little bit. These ones are a little bit firmer, these are nice and soft. And that's gonna give a real lovely texture to the dish. Okay, same with my radishes now. You see they've, they've got a lovely pink color. Okay, and they're really, really sweet. And then same with my muli. Lovely dish that just started to go a little bit limper. And that's perfect, okay. So we've got those few ingredients there. Now the last thing I'm going to add to the bubble ganoush or the spice bougie is lemon juice. Okay, I'm going to put that over my hands because I don't want the seeds in there. That's the juice of one lemon. In that goes, help cook that down. Now, bubble ganoush, really soft now. Okay, and now it's time to blend. All right, I'm gonna use a stick blender here. I'm gonna put all of the puree in there. You see now it's lovely and uh, you get lovely flavors from the, from the smoked paprika in there and it's really delicious. Okay. Now, if you, uh, I'm doing this for a dinner party, really good, lovely thing to get done in advance. Okay, I'm just gonna blitz it on a slow speed first, then I'm gonna crank it up. plate up now guys. So we got got uh, two plates here and I've got two little bowls that I'm going to do for a, a side with rice. Okay. 
Okay. Take the rice bowls. Have a ganoush. Get rid of this. There we are, guys. Just going to leave that to finish cooking there, just in the pan, off the heat. It's really beautiful. Nice bit of coloration on the other side. Really nice. Just going to leave that there to sit. Just for a few minutes, allow it to rest. Right now, take that sun out. Put that on the side. And we're nearly ready to plate it. Perfect, rice is now ready. Now we're ready to plate up. So like I said, I'm just gonna use a, use a basmati rice for this. So, to plating up. I'm gonna take some of my baba ganoush. Nice little swipe down the center. Place my fish next to it. We're just gonna have a nice little few of the pickled radishes. A few pickled mouli. mushrooms There we have it guys. Pan seared salmon with my take on a baba ganoush with pickled shiitake, mushroom and muli, with basmati rice, pomegranate and coriander. Thank you so much for watching this video. I really, really appreciate it. I appreciate all the likes and comments that you will give. Please continue. It spurs me on to want to make more for you. So thanks very much. Take care. And please remember hit that subscribe button my new website is live, chefsimonbrows.com, where you're able to purchase classes that I'm selling, which is go focusing on fine dining cuisine, teaching you how to make some incredible dishes that are restaurant worthy in the comfort of your own home over soon. So please give it a like, really appreciate it. Thanks very much, take care, bye bye.